Hey everybody, I'm Crow. Welcome back to Faster Than Light. I had just enough time to record another one, so I thought, why not? You know? Mm, yeah, we'll go up. Your skins reveal a mining base. And you then go nearby a sun. You arrive at the beacon to find yourself dangerously close to a star. They're not going to be able to get through my shields. This is good. Most of their weapons are useless. And with our five shots, we can very likely penetrate their two shields. Hmm. We don't need this much. So I'll put these in here. Could I possibly... Nope. I don't want to risk it. Shoot all of these at the shields. They're down to one point now. I'll hold both of these until the burst laser fires. Their shields are definitely gone now. The missile missed. And now everything is firing on their weapons. The fire is going to hit us, and we're going to take damage from that. That hit... Huh, does the fire... Where were we? Were we right here? I'm pretty sure when the fire hits the ship originally, it does damage. I'm not 100% on that, but I'm pretty sure that even if it hits a systemless room, we take one damage from a fire showing up in the first place. 39. 56. I wonder... Should we bother getting this up to three before we do anything else? Hmm. And that can also reach there, and it's also a confrontation. Tangled wrecks of many ships wait in dormancy here. You see lights flicker on what looks like debris. A rebel scout bursts out of the wreckage. Armed to the teeth, two burst laser twos, and an ion weapon and teleport and bombs. They mean business. However, these weapons should always fire at the same time. This is going to shoot here. And... I'm a cloak it. Mm. Yeah, and this will let us shoot a second time. Don't shoot these yet. That'll kill our cloaking, too. Gold! It wasn't enough. We are going to be in trouble here. 5% evasion is not as good as one layer of shields. We're going to get shot six times. There's no way we're going to avoid half of them. Yeah, okay, this is going to suck. Shoot here, shoot here, shoot here. Yes! Decimated. Oxygen... And... Ooh. I don't want this completely broken. So we're definitely going to vent this out as fast as we can. With my luck, it's probably a quad fire already, but... With this... Don't break it, don't break it, don't break it, don't break it, don't break it! Yes! Good. Dodged. Gold, gold, and gold. Shields may come in time. Not so much on normal, because, you know, they shoot six times, seven times. Already. And the ion kind of stops us from... Oh, it's an ion bomb. There goes our shields, but their weapons. They are quite gone. We will close these, and power will return. 30. We should be good now, right? Fix it. Fix it. Thank you, double power into the oxygen. That was a that was a thing on the first one, wasn't it? Yeah, that, that was like the first episode. We got that special thing that got us this for cheaper. Or no, wasn't it free? It might have been free. I don't know. I like things. I like the things that happened a few days ago are affecting me now. Or actually, I guess that was yesterday. Today? Was that was that around midnight? I don't remember. 
It was it was a point in time in my life that wasn't right now. It's hard to see why, but this beacon is apparently a tourist destination. One of the ships at the small station is offering you a terrible deal. Long range beacons, next sector. Abandoned sector, rock controlled. Let's see here. So, boarded by death and destruction. Or, boarded by death and destruction. Hmm, well, my options are so good. As much as I would like a Lanius crew member. At the same time, I can't vent out oxygen to fight them easier. Which means that even fighting them in the medbay wouldn't be as effective. I mean, I guess I could open all of the doors on the ship and then double pump the oxygen, and I don't think they would be able to drain the oxygen out of the uh, medbay. But... I don't know, what's a bigger deal? Fires or oxygen? With fires, I can just open the stuff. You know what, we haven't been to an abandoned sector in a while. Let's shoot for the middle. For no reason other than middle. This sector has been largely abandoned. I'm glad I didn't. I was going to upgrade the doors immediately. I was going to do that, but I didn't, and we have scrap now. You arrive to see a large number, or a number rather, of rebel ships attempting to, to dissuade Lanius scavenger ships from acquiring their forward station. A passing rebel patrol ship spots you and moves in to intercept. Triple shields. Probably better off with missiles. Probably better off with missiles. They don't have drone systems to stop us, though. I'm gonna shoot this. They can't cloak, and they don't have any other special systems. No reason to fire the basic laser yet, and at such a point, or for such a reason, rather, I think we'd be better off with triple shields. In fact, no, we wouldn't, because that wouldn't give us anything. This only shoots twice. More evasion, and more oxygen. Because why not? Hmm... Leveling up the shields... Nope. That is a big one that I don't want to get hit by. I'm glad that does two damage. Yeah, and the other one can't hurt us on its own. Perfect. All you're doing is leveling our shields up. In fact, why don't I get rid of our evasion? In this way... I'll keep this on just because. I'll power that up, too. They will always hit our shields. Yes, I will be getting the maximum benefit from attacking this person. Also, we have a mountain of missiles. I really hope they don't try and run away. Ah. Now I gotta shoot here, too. Now I gotta shoot here, too. Actually, you know, they probably have more points in the engines. Would that, dis would that slow them down more? Because if this only has one health and I shoot them for four damage, then they can just repair the one and they're good. I'm going to shoot the engines. Yeah, let's do that. Yep, they got away. Yeah, I, don't e I didn't think that was going to hit. I was hoping beyond hope, but uh, it was futility. Hmm. Do I want to go to the store? Did I have anything to sell? Do I have anything to sell? I could sell a basic laser. That would give me more than enough to get something like, say, hacking, for which I have 20 drone parts. Black 2! 3 power, 2 power. Why, with just such a setup, I could always get the shields down and then shoot them three times. You don't say. So I think at that point, we would be good picking this up. It would take 21 seconds to fire, which would mean we wouldn't get as much out of it, but if we spend a lot of our time cloaked, I see value in this. However, we would need... 50 more scrap to make this work, because we need to upgrade stuff. Though I also need fuel. I also need fuel. And more crew members would be nice as well. I'm gonna sell this. Maybe sell the hull repair? If I sell the hull repair, we definitely aren't getting drones. Ah, uh, which system was cheaper? Also, having a defense drone wouldn't hurt. 
I definitely need more fuel, though. Where does this lead? We could get more confrontations out there. I think I'm going to pick this up. And because I have this, which can put this here, which can put this here. Or maybe I don't need that. Do I still need this Pegasus missile? If I shoot this seven, that's pretty much guaranteed to take down four layers of shields, even if they do have a Defense 2 drone. Which would mean this would always get through. If that's the case, then I don't need to shoot this. And this takes 20 seconds to power up. This does 21. Or this takes 21. But this could hurt them all on its own. And that's assuming they have quad shields, which I don't think they're going to have for another sector or so. So I don't know that we need the Pegasus missiles. But if I get rid of this, then I don't have any use for these resources anymore. You know, we're not going to have... At 5 power, I'm going to have at least two of these running. There's no reason for me to have another basic laser. I'll sell these. I think, yeah, I think we're, we're going to sell these. I think, I think we moved past them. I'm going to pick up as much fuel as we can. Get a couple points of health back. We need to upgrade our doors once. Upgrade our engines once. We need to upgrade a lot of things once. As you are getting your bearings, another ship suddenly arrives at the beacon. It's the Lanius, and they've marked your ship for salvage. Double missiles. I don't want that. I do want that. And I'm going to shoot this at their weapons. They have boarded us in a place where I can't stop them. You're going to come in here. You're both going to come into here. Because all hope is lost in the otherwise. I can't vent the oxygen out of there to dissuade them. Ten seconds. We're going to hold it out, and then we're going to cloak. 75? 75? 75. That's not enough. Okay, we're going to open all of the doors on the ship. Our shields don't even matter. Our shields don't even matter. We're going to double pump that. We're going to buff up our evasion. You guys are going to run back there. And you guys are swapping out. We'll toggle them through here. I should have had you come in at the same time. I should have had you come in at the same time. That got through. This won't. Okay, you're gonna leave. Okay, you're gonna leave. Okay, you're gonna leave. Okay, you're gonna leave. You know what? They broke our evasion. That's just how life is right now. We're going to get hit by missiles. You're gonna get into that med bay right now. Like, right now. Get in there. Get in there. Start healing up. We're gonna take these. It's impossible for us to dodge. Hey, that didn't breach. And they left. Have I mentioned I hate it when landing is bored us? You get in there as well. You two get on this. Don't fire just yet. I want the basic laser to fire at the same time. 60% evasion. What can you give me? Oxygen is broken. We took more damage. I should have gone to the rock sector. Oxygen is broken. That's going to close. I don't need that sucking all the air out of the ship. You guys are pretty much fixing that. We're going to shoot here. And they're back, so we're going to shoot there as well. Eight. You know what? I really don't care. I'm going to accept this, because I need to not die. You guys get in here and help. Okay. We will have oxygen back in time. And we're going to heal up. And you're going to run between the rooms. Run between them. Run between them. Yes. Yes. Very good. You fix this, you fix this. We took a lot of damage from that. Hmm. Double missiles. That's probably the root of all evil. Twice as many chances to annihilate us. And they did two damage each. Hmm. Okay. You guys go back to your positions. 27. You know, that, that, uh, 
Upgraded cloaking is looking better and better all the time. Four shots. See, I need I need that upgrade on weapons because right now, without the other basic laser, we're actually a little weaker than we were before. I should have gone with missiles. I should have, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hmm, planet side any ship batteries are detected in this system. Allies! Upon arrival, you are immediately surrounded by chaos. So, you shoot three times. Prepare to cry. No relation to Vadi Vidya. Anyway. Yeah. We can basically just sit here. They can't kill us. And we have any ship batteries on our side. You're already gold, so there's no reason to shoot other weapons. Unfortunately, yeah. Not going to really be able to skill up. Not only because they're going to die, but, uh... Shoot the evasion! You dodge nothing. Boom! You don't have doors anymore. I'm glad that actually hits first. We're actually getting a little bit on the shield department then. Basic laser's gonna wait! Basic laser's not waiting anymore, they died. That's one really good thing about this system. After your skirmish, the fighting dies down, and you're contacted by the planetary defense team. Sorry you got caught up in that fight, stranger. No matter how many of these monsters we blow out of the sky, they just keep coming. We can patch up your ship for you, though. Sweet. And an asteroid field. I would like a single upgrade in this, please. Thank you. This beacon appears to have been set up within an asteroid field to access a mining settlement. However, half, a, half of the settlement has been disassembled by a number of Lanius scavengers. Their military escort moves in to scare you off. Intimidation tactics. Not gonna work. My men aren't smart enough to fear. One, three, five, six. And we're in an asteroid field. I must say that's a little bit scary. But when this fires... Hey, actually, you know what? These don't all fire simultaneously. That's gonna come up, and it hit. This I will need to dodge, though. Okay. We're gonna flack it. And then triple shoot. Pew, pew, pew. They didn't miss. The flack might have, but they did not. You receive a hail from the ship, followed by a crude translation device. Translation device. Spurting. Stop. 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 Nope. You shouldn't have tried to scare me. I mean, at least it wasn't jump scares. I hate jump scares. Fire. Finished him. Fatality. I need more power desperately. One more. Oh, these could actually all fire together. Though honestly, we'd better we'd, we would be better off with more lasers or something, or maybe a fire beam. I like those. It wastes so much of the enemy crew's time. You arrive at the location of a recent battle. Judging from the debris, some settlers attempted to fight off a number of small Lanius ships. Although it's impossible to say who instigated the aggression, a few skirmishes can be seen in the distance. But more notably, a lone Lania ship is firing on a heavily damaged civilian vessel. And we gotta do something about it, because we're the good guys. As long as they don't hack anything important. Okay, doors are stupid. This is going to fire here, and then this is going to fire here, because there's no way this doesn't knock down both of those. Picks, or it didn't happen. This can only fire twice, which means there's no reason to have those, so I'll put those in there. Our oxygen is also doing pretty good, so I'll put that in there. I'm going to cloak way too early. I can't take that back. The missile's going to hit us. I regret everything. I heard that and was like, I gotta dodge. That's what we need to do. Fire. No, what? Oh my god, it's still standing. It's still standing. Why is it still standing? 
I never asked for this. Shoot it. Please. It's down now, but the doors... Go fix it. They're dead anyway. Oh, that's right. I can't get in here until they die. Heavy laser mark one. I like that better than basic lasers. You know what? I think it fires faster too. And we got 42. And we got 40. Hmm. So we're gonna fix that up. Then we're gonna open all the doors. Wait, I can't. I'm not going to risk them suffocating. The door did not get fixed. They're going to heal up. A stupider version of me might have uh, risked the entire crew's safety and died there. We're definitely going to be in a terrible, terrible place if any one of these people die. We need these stations manned, and we almost have green on shields. We can't afford to lose this. I need oxygen. Fix it! Oh, that's right. This wasn't like a dangerous situation. I could have just put the oxygen on. Well then. I mean, they're healed now. Calculated. And power back into that engine thing. Could get here, could jump back. I know there's a confrontation here, not a wasted jump. Your arrival coincides almost exactly with that of a rebel ship. It's hard to know who is more surprised, but there is no option but to fight. I don't want to get hit by your missiles, so I'm going to kill you instead. See, when they have this much power in their weapons, I think it might actually be more effective to just uh, murderize their weapons. So you can shoot that. You can do that. I allow this. That's going to fire- Oh, you didn't get through my shields. Perfect. Now we can actually wait for this to fire. This is going to fire first. That's going to knock that down. This is going to shoot. That fired, we win. We knocked that out. We're getting to charge up our weapons. Yeah, you're not going to fix that in time. Okay. And shoot. Combat drone mark 1 and 31. You don't say. That's probably worth more. And for fuel. I'll take it. Distress. Is this going to be taken? I think if it was going to be taken, it would be ta it would be like highlighted like that. I think we could make this. I think we could make this. You come across a Lanius ship in the process of absorbing a rebel automated scout. If you scare off the Lanius, you could probably make use of it. Don't hack anything important, please. Uh, I can double pump that. Oh, I should have put the other on. Oh, wait, I'm not using it anyway. Until we get six points of power, it's irrelevant. This basic laser should be traded out, though. I'm gonna cloak that. Good on the evasion. That's going to shoot. And I'll fire there just cause. Couple points into there. Hmm. Still dangerous. Still very dangerous. We might have knocked out their missiles and their other weapon, but this is going to hit us most assuredly. Ah. Eh. And hit it. They're powering up their FTL. They think they're going to get away. They're probably going to get away. They don't have any evasion. You better fix that. You better stay in here and fix that and not fix the shields. They can't dodge. They can't dodge. I didn't... Aww. I tunneled. 33. 54. Why? I could basically upgrade my doors with that. Absurd. Absurd. Though we should probably save that for a store. We'll get back to the green. We'll get back to the green. Hmm. You can come in here. I'm gonna heal you up while they're doing things. 279. Distress and then store. 
great. It appears the distress beacon is coming from the surface of a nearby moon. Your sensors are picking up a single life form. I don't have the medbay required to save them. Does this person kill somebody or do they just attack us? I don't remember. I don't want to lose a crew member. If you find a man living alone in a cave, from appearance of his wrecked ship, it seems he's been here for many years. He looks healthy, but his mental state is questionable. There's one of these that's like somebody that worked for the... Somebody. Somebody that worked for the Federation has been stranded here or something, and that one always gives us a favorable result. I think this is the one where that guy could actually be crazy. I'm just gonna leave him there. As much of a help as it would be to have someone that could man the doors or the sensors. This beacon is bustling with activity. We have much to sell. I could also sell this. Every 9 seconds, every 10 seconds. It has the fire chance, it also has a breach chance, it also has a stun chance, and it does twice the damage despite firing one second faster. I really like these. One of my favorite one cost weapons. Don't need that anymore. 314. This also comes with a combat drone, so if I were to buy a drone control, I don't think this would be the this would be the one that we would get. Not really interested in a clone bay. And I don't have the crew to really do that whole teleporting thing. Nor do I have the other systems to back it up. I would have much preferred hacking or mind control. Both of which we might end up getting. I would have gotten drone control if there was a defense drone. There was not. So we're going to pick up this fuel because we're still in sector 5. 5. Okay. And we're going to heal back up to green. And then we want... To get our engines as good as we can, I'm going to want to point indoors. I'm going to want cloaking. And then we need the power to actually use this stuff. We'll hold on to 32 so that after a couple of jumps we can build back up to 80, which is what we'll need to actually make use of a store in so far that we can get another system. Yes. Okay. We'll keep that powered up. I can take the power out of this. We'll have the two in there from before. And we'll leave that in there as well. So now if we need to get away, we could also take power out of our weapons and then cloak for 15 seconds, which should get us out of pretty much anything. Even if we get caught by that line now, we max out our shields and we triple cloak, and I think we're okay. Selling drone parts for scrap would get us up exactly to that 80 that I wanted. However, if we end up hacking, or if we end up using drone parts... Is that really enough, though? Is that really going to matter that much? Even if I sold 12, we would still have 16 of them. And I'm not going to use them offensively. We're either going to use them for a hull repair, or for hacking. And in the hacking case, that's 16 victories, basically, should we even need them. I think we could safely do that. I'm going to sell 12 of them. We have a scrap recovery arm! That was an even better deal. Zoltan Homeworld, sure, why not? I completely forgot we got that! Wow, we've been doing even better than I thought. We'll get this one, then we'll jump up there, then we'll go this way. That way, no jumps are wasted. Confrontation! You discover one of the Rebul... Rebul... Rebel ship's autonomous scouts! The A... The ship's AI wastes no time in engaging your ship. I would like to shoot here, and then I will probably shoot there. Don't hack my weapons. The cloaking. So they can cancel our cloaking, I see. They don't have missile weapons, however. Triple shot, one shot, one shot. One shot will forever have another meaning to me. Was this already activated? I think I can actually cloak, can I? Blue. Yeah. Okay, I think that just creates a window every, like, 20 seconds that we can't cloak. We're gonna shoot that. Which is going to knock these down. We're gonna shoot that. Get them! Their burst laser was at least delayed while they lost these weapons. Our triple shields are now enough to protect us with our evasion. Perfect. This will fire again. They don't fix these fast enough. We are good to go. No. 
too soon. But I mean, honestly, they're just firing these. So at this point, we're just leveling up our shields. That fired too soon. We still actually hit, though. Wow. And that's not going to be able to fire in time. If this hits the shields again, though, and actually does damage, which it should, there's some damage. We can kill their evasion now. Ooh, they had triple points in that. Either way, their evasion should be pretty bad right now. And I only need to hit them... Yep, okay. I was gonna say once, because that would knock out all their evasion, but, you know, I would have actually had to hit them one more time to blow them up. 55. Electromagnetic magnetic field. This can bypass this, however. Perfect. Hacking, perhaps? Another hull repair. That's not very useful. Fire in combat. A defense scrambler. Pretty cool. Weapon pre-igniters. Weapon pre-igniter? What? Should we get a weapon pre-igniter? I could sell the hull repair to make up for it. What? We have a flak 2 and a burst laser. And if I could get power in the Pegasus missiles, could you imagine that, like, just the levels of guns blazing to just show up, flak them, shoot two missiles, and fire a burst laser too at them? I don't know that that's safe for us to do, but that sounds great. I... I want it. I want it so bad. I'll live with the consequences of my actions. I really hope this isn't the thing that kills us, but you know what? That drone control was stupid anyway. I regret nothing until I regret it later. Weapon pre-igniters. I almost never get to use those. We like we never get to use those. You pick up the last broadcast of a rupturing Zoltan freighter. The Mantis, they're here, please. You already annihilate them. They have a halberd beam and two ions. You don't say. I'm going to shoot this at your shields. <laughs> Boom! Their shields are devastated. You're teleporting over here? I have doors. Imagine that. These are also only the one-point ions, which means that even if these do hit... Should I move them over here? Even if these hit, the halberd beam won't be able to go off. It's guaranteed they're going to hit if I go over there, though. Yeah, yeah, these aren't good enough. I'm going to have to hold them. We're going to slow them down. All right. I mean, we get free shots anyway, and I can cloak, which should make sure at least one of them misses, I think. We're gonna open those. I'm gonna turn the oxygen off. That's also gonna hit. If they are truly Mantis, then they should be quite bad at that fixing things. Yeah, I should probably line these up a little bit better. A, but they're down to the one shields thing again. And we're running into here, and I'm opening both of these, which immediately vents them. And we're going to heal up and not immediately run back into that room. And you're going to run back into here, so we have evasion. Which is now up to 35. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I'll double pump that just so we get our oxygen back. We'll bring this down to a single. Everyone is fully healed. You'll get back to your stations. And I'll take more evasion because, you know, I can't really do anything with shields anyway. Also, this is about to hit me. So I'm going to stop it from firing. I didn't, however, stop this from firing. Oh, we're over on time. I can't break this crap fast enough. You know what? If I fire here, I think it's more likely to hit them. Because there's spots over here that it wouldn't hit. I think that's how this works. I'm going to shoot this over here. Yeah, this is going to take like another 10 million seconds to charge. Just shoot it over there. And hit him a bunch. Boom! Should have done that from the beginning. 57. Did I repair? I think we repaired. I'm bypassing that. Next time, though. You know what? No, never mind. I feel I feel a burning need to click on this spot. A message broadcast from a nearby planet. I almost said Zoltan planet. Announces the presence of an ancient Zoltan monastery available for visiting. Likely a tourist trap and you don't have time. Anyway, Zoltan Homeworlds, Sector 6. We actually have pre-weapon igniters. Weapon pre-igniters. I'm never going to be able to pronounce this correctly. All the same, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Later, everybody.